Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Nana's Kitchen. I'm Dorothy and I am from Rossville, Georgia. And if you're catching me live, you'll see the red lava in the button up in the top corner. Drop a one below. If you are catching me in the future or on a replay, drop hashtag replay. I am so sorry I missed you. Please also tell me where you're coming from. I love to know that information. If you would like to make sure you don't miss me on a live, tap on my face, touch those three little dots and turn on your notifications. Tonight, guys, we are going to make ginger cookies. Um, and we're gonna make those into stars. And if you like ginger cookies, uh, please drop, uh, I like them below. Cause I know there's not a piece of ginger in the emojis. Hello, Chantel. All right, guys, this does, this is not, um, a quick recipe um, so I've done it in stages and we'll go from there all right so I'm going to take um, half a cup of butter and I'm just using regular butter tonight um, that is at room temperature and a half a cup of monk fruit half a cup of monk fruit and I'm going to cream that and this took a Probably two to three minutes to get it light and fluffy and creamy. So what did you do today? Today is my granddaughter Christina's 15th birthday. Hello, Diane. Uh, she went to the DMV got her learner's permit. I am waiting on her to call me. I thought it was going to be before I went live. I kept waiting on her uh, because she had basketball today. So uh, we are going to do a uh, fa FaceTime um, and let her open up a, well, let the family open up a gift. So I'm waiting on that. They don't do that while we're doing this. Hey, Deborah. All right. So I've blended that together. To that, I'm going to add an egg. I'll follow the rules and crack it over here so that there's no shell. And a teaspoon of vanilla. This is a half teaspoon, so do two of those. Again, I'm gonna blend that up. business going. One cup of almond flour, one fourth cup of coconut flour, one teaspoon of ginger. After all, these are ginger cookies. Now, if you like more ginger, please add more. Um, the recipe called for half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I think it needed a little more. I don't know, hadn't tried them yet. Um, I am doing a 60 hour fast, so until eight o'clock tomorrow morning, um, I am only um, using the um, PTKs and a uh, broth that I use. A one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, one eighth teaspoon of cloves. Again, guys, if you like these flavors a little more, 
please feel free to use a little more. And a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Those are my dry ingredients. Checking around me to see if I've left anything out. And I'm just going to give that a good toss so that those flavors are blended in together. Hey, Shelby. So, guys, again, we are making ginger cookies. These are keto cookies that you can roll out. Um, here in a little bit, I'll even tell you how to make the keto um, royal icing. Alright, so we're going to now blend this into here a little bit at a time. Guys, have you started Christmas baking? Or do you even Christmas bake? If you are a Christmas baker, drop me a cookie emoji down below. And if you are not a Christmas baker, drop me a Christmas tree below. So guys, once we get this dough made, it does have to refrigerate for one hour. That's why I was saying to you uh, that you it is easy, it's just not quick. All right. So I just pressed it into a ball just because that's what I've always done with my cookie dough. And there is the dough. Um, Diane, I said if you are a cook, if you are a baker at Christmas and you like to bake, drop me a cookie emoji. If you are not a baker and you don't do a lot of holiday baking, drop me a Christmas tree. That doesn't mean that um, that you don't enjoy the holidays. Just means that you're not. I'm gonna, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of people that you need to bake for. Maybe you don't care about the baking process. Um, that was always something we did. Um, you know, started early baking all these little things, and so I enjoy that. So I am gonna pop this into the refrigerator and pull out one that I didn't fully finish up. Have to make some room here for you guys. When I finish my live, I've got to redo some of this to add it to my TikTok so I don't put it all up. Totally have to reset to put it out. So, and guys, if you uh, find any value, please, please, please share this out. Sharing is caring, and it does help get my um, stuff out there. Let me go grab my rolling pin and my parchment. And uh, I know it's right here because I, oh there it is. I was gonna say I didn't put up anything but I couldn't find my, my um, Get her. All right, now I have obviously already made a batch, and so I've already used most of this cookie dough. So I am just going to put it between two pieces of parchment, and I like to kind of help it get started. And then you're going to roll that out to about a quarter of an inch. I saw a really nice rolling pin while we were out the other day and I did not get it. Hello, Gail. Let's see if I missed any. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Renita. Hello, Silky. 
How are you guys? We are making ginger cookies. All right, and we've just made our dough, and um, I'm just rolling out left, what was left of my last batch, so you can see this part. And I have my, and I'm just doing Christmas stars. Quick and easy. This is for work tomorrow. So I would just cut out my stars and then on my um, parchment in my cookie pan, whoop, losing cookies here guys, losing cookies. You should see this half of my kitchen, or really you shouldn't see this half of my kitchen because my kitchen is a des disaster. My wonderful husband, um, who is off on vacation, uh, spent his day running errands for me and cleaning, only for me to come home and make a disaster. So, so I, again, I'm using the spatula because these are pretty sensitive if they get uh, room temperature again. They will start falling apart on you. So you want to keep them as cold as possible while you're working with the dough. Okay. And you would just keep working the dough and again adding it back to the refrigerator if it gets too close to room temperature because again that makes it very difficult. So they go into the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes and through the magic of television we have our cookies. They do need to cool completely before you try to get them off of the pan because they will uh, come out soft, but they um, get crispy as, or like a cookie as they come out. So, again, let me throw this into this ball here. Alright. Now, when these are completely cooled, you may want to decorate them. So I have a one cup of Swerve Confectioners, and I am for convenience going to use um, uh, egg whites out of the container, and it says three tablespoons for one large egg. That's me. One large egg. And I'm going to use a fourth of a teaspoon of tartar sauce. And I do wish the tartar sauce came, came with a lid that I could just reach down in there. But it doesn't, so I'm just going to keep pounding until I get it. Alright, so there it is. I am going to mix this together. If it is too thick... Then I can add a little water, but you want to add a little, little water. And um, not do it too fast, okay? And you're going to mix it in between. But mine does not need water. It is the consistency that I want on mine. Now, I am going to add a couple of drops of yellow because my stars need to be yellow. You do you whatever color you want, and you could have used other cookies, um, cookie cutters, I had that option, but I didn't want to be having to make a bunch of different royal icing on here tonight, so um, I just wanted to do something that would be uh, good for tomorrow and yet work out for me. All right, so I have it all. Here it is. There's my royal icing. And, once again, through the magic of television, I have just chosen to uh, use a sandwich baggie, uh, mainly because I can't find my piping stuff, so I don't know what I've done with it. Um, and so, I can now go trace around my, once I get my hair out, 
around my stars and then I can fill them in and I like to tap mine just to kind of smooth that out and that's what it will look like so now that has to harden up again ta -ta -ta -ta, through the magic of television and if you have edible glitter or something like that, what were you looking away, Diane? What do you need? Um, so if you have edible glitter, you can add that. Um, I do have edible glitter, but it is not. It is sugar based, and I'm not going to do that because these are all keto. And there you have it, guys. So the cookie dough did not take long the royal icing did not take long it does require that hour of sitting before you roll it out and then bake it at um 350 for 10 minutes 350 for 10 minutes then check on it um if it you see that they're not quite as golden brown as you would like them to be add two minutes at a time um but um i was um, did not go over 14 minutes. So there you have it. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I hope that you will enjoy making some uh, keto Christmas cookies that you can cut into shape for Santa because, you know, I don't know if you've seen Santa lately. He might need a few keto cookies for his trip. Just a thought. All right, guys, Diane, thank you for sharing out. Sharing is caring. If anybody will follow Diane's lead, it's so appreciated. And I will see you tomorrow and let you know how I am surviving my reboot. Well, I, how I survived because it will be over tomorrow morning. I will tell you. That the hardest thing that happened, and I almost messed up my reboot, is um, my husband popped popcorn. And so that almost did me in. But I survived. So, alright guys, again, I'm Dorothy. And here in my kitchen, I'm Nana. And as always, welcome to Nana's Kitchen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.